Okay, now I've got my three prongs. What am I missing? Well, I'm missing a core. I can see right down the middle at the moment. So let's go back to my floor plan. And let's look at the core shape. Now I could make smaller and smaller heart shapes all the way down because that's what it looks like. Or I could just go for a solid core because it looks very much like a triangle here. So I'm going to go looking for a triangular prism. So in Tinkercad in the basic shapes, if I go down, I've got a roof. Well, I've got a wedge, but what I'm actually going to go for is a polygon. This might look a bit strange because it's got six sides at the moment, but if I go up to my shapes, I can change that down all the way to three sides. So that's it, my triangular prism for me. I need to shrink that to fit it inside my core. So let's bring it right down. Well, that looks about right. If I want to check it out, obviously make it a bit tall so it fits into my core and see if I can put it in. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I could shove it back a bit, use the arrow keys if I want to adjust it. There we go, I think that would be absolutely perfect for my core. So, here's my central part. Well, let's look how it goes down. It goes part, 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 so I need to start to thin it down, don't I? I'm going to just use this shape and then repeat it. So I could duplicate that. And what I've got, I could bring it up. There's another part. I could, if I wanted to see the difference, I could change the color. But I want to obviously make that one smaller because it's going in. So let's bring it down. Make it slightly thinner. Here we go. Obviously, you need to keep it nice and extended. There we go. I think that'll be another part. And then should I shrink it down again? Let's shrink it down again. Let's duplicate this part. I'll make the duplication yellow. And shrink it down even more. Let's bring it right down. Let's have it four by three. And extend it even further up. So I've got these parts growing out of each other. Now they're all aligned to the corner. If I want to align them all up into the center, click, click, click. Align tool in the middle, in the middle. There we go. Got my Burj Khalifa appearing out of the tall buildings. I could probably do another layer. I might shrink that slightly, bring them all down just a touch. Don't want them growing off the top. Bring that one down a touch. Could go for one more layer maybe. So duplicate. Change my final layer just so I can see it. So my purple. Let's bring that down right down. So. My yellow and then let's bring that right down so what have I got going on here let's do that even down to two by one there we go and I can have that growing right off the top there we go it's looking pretty good for the time being let's link all them up let's align them all like a nice alignment in the middle look from the top they're slightly out so I can just use my arrow keys to bring them into the center make sure I look from different angles there we go that's pretty much looking spot on and here's my Burj Khalifa now then what am I missing well I'm missing these multiple different layers and different heights so how could I do that oh well, quite easily I could start by bringing up my core slightly here we go and then I start to work on each leg. So I want to first off ungroup these so I can start to work on each one. And when I click on the individual, make sure we're nicely ungrouped. Because what I'm going to do is going to start extending and putting this offset in. So I can bring up, there we go, well, let's bring that right one up, right to the top of the core. And then bring the next one up. A bit offsetting, a bit of offsetting. There we go, work around. Start on this one, just bring that up a little bit, not as high as the other one, because I just want to be offset. Bring it up a little bit more. Maybe bring that one a bit down. And then I can bring this one up. And just working my way around. Always looking from different angles, looking at the look of it. Because it is by eye. I might even bring that one slightly touched down so it's not in line with this side. And go around. You could be more precise if you want. And uh, Work on that. I can bring that one right up to here. Oh, let's have a look. How does it look? Oh, I'll have it there. I think that'll work. 
Let me scroll up slightly more. There we go. It's looking pretty good. So I've got these offset floors. So just like a Burj Khalifa itself, all offset. Now then, it's looking very multicolored. All I need to do, select it all. I could group it all to bring it all into nicely one color. And then, what do I color do I want it to be? Well, buildings are nicely normally sky blue. There we go. Look at that. I've got my Burj Khalifa going on. I could tinker with it a bit more. Work on these offsets. Work on my core of it. I could trim off the edges so it's not as harsh. Because if you're looking at the final model, they are a bit rounded at the top, aren't they? So these rounded edges. So I could round off these edges a bit. But for me, I'm going to leave the rest up to you. So have a go at tinkering. Looking forward to seeing what you produce.